for each of the following melodies, uh, you have to name the key, write a cadence in choral style below the brackets, and uh, label the chords uh, using functional chord symbols. Name the type of cadences as authentic half or plagal. In the first excerpt, we have three sharps in the key signature, which could be either A major or F sharp minor. Based on the opening melody notes, it appears to be A major, dominant and tonic note of A major. Last note um, would not fit with uh, either tonic or dominant chord in F sharp minor. Also, the leading note of F sharp minor, E sharp, is not present. We can safely assume this is A major. Before we write out the cadence, I write out the names of the notes of the primary triads, tonic, subdominant, and dominant. In A major, the tonic chord will be A, C sharp, E, subdominant, D, F sharp, A, and dominant, E, G sharp, B. The first note of the cadence is a D, and the only chord that has a D is the subdominant chord, which is a major triad in a major key. I will write the root of this chord in the bass clef. First I will write it in keyboard style. The notes that I still need to write here below this D are A and F sharp. Now to do a choral style, as, um, the simplest technique is just to move this middle note down an octave. And I will erase from here and just write a stem. So soprano has a stem up, alto stem down, tenor stem up and bass stem down. I will do the same thing with the next chord. The only chord that has a B is the dominant chord. And the root of that chord is E. I'll write it in the bass clef. The remaining notes of the chord below B are G sharp and E. The G sharp is already in the key signature. Now I'll move this middle note down an octave. Erase it from here and then add a stem to the alto voice. This chord is the dominant chord. The name of this cadence is half cadence. The second example has five flats. This could be either a D flat major or B flat minor. The leading note of B flat minor is A natural. We can see an A natural. And the opening two notes are dominant and tonic in the key of B flat minor. Also, we end on a B flat note. We can safely assume this is in B flat minor. Again, I will write the names of the notes of the primary triads tonic, subdominant, and dominant. B flat, D flat, F. Subdominant is E flat. G flat and B flat, and dominant is F, A, natural, and C. The first note of the cadence is A natural. The only triad that has an A natural is the dominant triad. In minor keys, the dominant triad is a major triad, therefore, I'm using an uppercase Roman numeral 5. The root of this chord is F. I will write it first in the keyboard style. Uh, the remaining notes will be F and C. Now I will move this F down an octave. So I will add a stem here to this note. That means both bass and tenor are singing the same pitch. I will raise the F 
from the treble clef and add a stem to the alto voice. The final note of this cadence is B flat. There are two chords that have B flat, both tonic and subdominant. However, we don't end on subdominant chords in cadences, either tonic or dominant. So this has to be a tonic chord. And the tonic chord in minor keys is a minor triad. I will start with the root of this chord in the bass. Then I will add the remaining notes of this chord in the treble clef, which will be F and D flat. I'll move the F note down an octave. And then erase it from here and add the stem to the alto voice. The last part is to name this cadence, and this is an authentic cadence. So 